Hey, I want to show you a tip <clears throat> that you can use in your cases to make things more predictable. Um, now, I'm not going to go over the whole case. This is where we're starting. So we see some rotations inward of eight and nine. We see the number seven is slightly uh, set back. And here's the final result. Now, I told you I'm always looking to move teeth out if I can. Now, um, the premolars are moving out. That's fine. The canines are moving out. Now, obviously, if a tooth is distinctly forward, you have to move it in. So, for example, let's just even say the distal aspect of number eight is coming in. But what I want to show you is the lateral incisor, uh, number seven. Take a look at when you toggle back and forth. And by the way, I'm in the modifications screen. Sometimes, though, you have to just kind of go start to finish, start to finish instead of incrementally. So you go from stage one to stage however many stages. And you'll see this. And also the central, it is rotating in, but notice there's really no angulation change. We're just rotating the distal in. And so I don't want to see as much power to root torque as there, but especially on number seven, I don't need to move that tooth bodily like that because that is hard to track and it's such a small movement. So what I do is I take the root torque and I put it back kind of where it actually is. I just want to see, okay, so you now see the difference how the lateral is moving, the distal still moving in, the tooth is aligning, but you don't see the cingulum moving in like you did before. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. So the desired movement I want is to rotate the distal in here to align this, but I don't need as much palatal root torque. I want to just rotate that tooth in one plane if I can, like this. And this will have no effect on the case whatsoever. It'll except making it more predictable. And aesthetically, things look fine with that tooth. And by the way, as I'm showing you this, do you see there's just the tiniest bit of root angulation? Maybe that was made worse by what I did. Remember, you can't see this unless you go stage one to stage 20 or however it is, or you're in this tool. So that's how the tooth is. That's how it's ending up, but I don't want the dark triangle and I'm fine leaving that root like it is. So I take this, go here, keep it the way it is. So now I check out the movement that we want is still happening, but I've removed an innocent movement that is not critical to the case that is going to help my tooth stay inside the aligner without the need for any attachment. And with a fine result, this is not compromising on the quality of the result to make these kinds of changes in this kind of situation, for this particular case or cases of this order. Sometimes the root movement is required, but not here.